Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload. And why don't I give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, I want to talk a little bit about what it's like living with PTSD. So, um, in this video, I'm coming from my own experience. I'm not saying this is the only way people can struggle with PTSD because, like, every illness is different for every person. So, yeah, this is my experience. First, let's talk about what PTSD is. PTSD stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. It is a trauma disorder that occurs after experiencing a traumatic event. There's also another condition called CPTSD, which is Complex Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, which occurs after repeated trauma. So, today we're talking about PTSD. Some symptoms include reliving the event through flashbacks, nightmares, or an inability to change negative thoughts. Next is avoidance. Avoiding people or activities that remind you of the trauma. Next is emotional change. Anxiety. Irritability. Feeling hyper aware of sound. And last but not least, physical symptoms. Increased heart rate, sweating, trembling, nausea, trouble breathing. So they're just some of the symptoms that can occur. Obviously there's a lot more than that, but I can't sit and list every single symptom in this video. For me personally, I have nightmares, air flashbacks. I'm more than hyper I'm more hyper vigilant. I get anxiety. When do symptoms start? Symptoms can start immediately after a traumatic event. Or it could be weeks or months later. However, you cannot be diagnosed with PTSD within the first month of trauma. In the first month of trauma, you can be diagnosed with acute stress disorder, which I've mentioned on this channel previously. And if I can find it, I'll put the video on the iCard up there. For me, PTSD is pretty disabling. I don't get out of the flat much. When I do, I have to take anxiety medication, which, if you didn't know, my psychiatrist screwed up. So, that's fun. What's worse is the nightmares. Now, I had a nightmare while I was at my dad. If you didn't know, I went to visit my dad for the first time. I'll link that on the iCard up there. And I had a nightmare. And he, my dad was awake anyway, and he came and sat with me. So, yeah, PTSD is hard to live with and I've been living with it a few years now. And as I got older, I experienced more and more traumatic events and it's really made my PTSD the biggest issue in my life. For me, I manage my PTSD by avoiding things, so avoidance is key for me. So another frequently asked question is, how long does PTSD last? In some cases, particularly where it's not treated, PTSD can last for a very long time. So yeah, this is just a little bit about PTSD. I hope you learned something. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.